Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. Okay. okay. It was the summer of 2008. She said, I would the cook the matter from the date. Now raise it last 10 years of matrimonial cake. We celebrate. Now we're stronger together. Never better. Go getters, trendsetters, Black Panthers, the anthem. We the max and we only getting better. Hey. Life is what a dream. <laughs> Life is what a dream. <laughs> and. Yeah, and you know they say hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Yep. Um, so, looking back on our journey, would you do it again? Would you get married again? Would you? I don't know. I don't know. I. Guys, I feel you know what you know what I feel like, ne? I feel like I feel like this is awkward. All right, number three, we want to talk about intimacy, ladies and gentlemen. Have lots of sex, guys. We are lots talking about married and couples here. And lots have it. Very sex. important that thing. Very important. Ve oh, jeez, I love your enthusiasm, <laughs> babe. Go for it. No, really, please. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. So, guys, babe, I need to qualify. All mm. right. So. Take care of number two, guys, first, because <laughs> I, I, this is, I know this is a very controversial issue, yeah. but guys who wants to have sex, literally, like, because I'll dry, I'll dry. Guys, plan your finances. I cannot Ooh. stress this enough. <laughs> so, this is going to sound very romantic to a lot of people. So, be first of all, it was very romantic. <laughs> Guys, this was, I was very romantic. I don't care what my wife oh, says. Really? I was very oh, romantic. Really? My husband sold his first car to pay Lobola for me, you know? And I mean, it, it sounds romantic, right? It sounds like this is a guy who's got it all figured out. Yeah. You know, this guy is committed. He's yeah. got, you know, he's, he's ready. Yeah. He's ready, you know? But yeah. that should have been a red flag for me, what? babe. So today we have... Dr. Jerry Mufuke Wamacheta and Me Claudine Mufuke Wamacheta, the Max Senior. The seniors, guys, we've got the seniors today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so when we got married, Lerato was a session musician and I was in corporate doing the nine to five. I and married result, well. That's what <laughs> I And, and, and as, a, well. as a result, I was the breadwinner. Yeah. I struggled a lot. Mm. With those, with that dynamic of being the breadwinner, there was a lot of resentment building up, mm -hmm. and especially because Larato was living his dream, mm -hmm. yes. and I was in a job that I hated. Mm -hmm. I would come home. This guy is happy. This guy is happy. He is happily happy. broke. <laughs> <laughs> Can a couple recover from mm -hmm. infidelity and continue to have a healthy and solid marriage? There's a saying that says, once a cheat, always a cheat. Yes. Um, so we'd also like to know, do you resonate with that? People can be rehabilitated. Mm. Marriages can be rescued. Mm. There are marriages that have gone to be better because of the storm that they faced together. Mm. And, and listen to me, if you're not willing or interested to forgive, Mm. Don't fall in love. Don't get mm. married. Wow. Because at some point or the other, even you will need to be forgiven. I would like for us to speak about incompatibility. Mm. What, in your opinion, is the litmus test when it comes to compatibility? Society says opposites attract. Yes. Yeah. The Bible says... How can two walk together yes. lest they be agreed, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if we're asking the right questions. Mm. People go to bed on their first date and then they get pregnant and they want to get married because now they're pregnant. Mm. 
Mm. The child will not make you compatible. It is not yeah. enough of a glue to keep you together for the rest of yeah. your life. Now what we want to do today is we want to find out how well I know my wife's language. We can all agree that Pitori is a top official language. What is um Ugaranch? Kirilogo bana chumia kana hadi fikla kunga kra Ugaranch. Kore di Jojo like buffet tonayam. Gar Gugu Ranch, you understand that like Gugu Ranch, Jojo. Kora hager ya tena, gagra Gugu Ranch. Gugu Ranch ntana ga. Gugu Ranch. So today we want to talk about unwritten rules that we believe should absolutely be written. If you have a night out, yeah. yeah, is there a married person's curfew? <laughs> One, two, two three. three. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Why? No. So, so this is something Have else. Have married? Yeah, so, no. We ra, we ra. So my wife, so my wife has a saying, right? She says, uh, "Nothing good can happen." After after two a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. No guys. And then I said no to her, then I said no to her, okay. So what if I made an all night prayer? Bless the Lord. No, but that's My different. God. <laughs> Question number four: Should you give your spouse access to your phone, to all your social media accounts? I don't want to be asking you for your password every time mm-hmm. I want to use your mm-hmm. phone. You know, mm-hmm. I want to. Use your and camera. I'm like, hey, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just. Should you share your marital issues with your family or friends? Because I know that I can be a bit hot headed. I can be a bit of a. Sometimes. No. <laughs> Should you tone down the sexy? Bring sexy back. Like when your partner sees you, they need to be like, "Hey, man, hey," you know. <laughs> we are going to be playing a game. Who is most likely to? Who is most likely to be happy? You were happy when we met. <laughs> to fall while walking. So my wife is sometimes aloof. What is My wife loop? sometimes. A Who's most likely to get annoyed over small things? Okay, why do you say it to you? Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> it's her. Actually, <laughs> who's most likely to be a good cook? That's me. Maybe you suck. To complain about things. Ah, uh, Marovana, you're painting me in a bad light. <laughs> But you are painting yourself here. Yeah, yeah, complain. Some of the things that you used to say to me was, yeah. I don't want to make more money than you. I don't want to be more successful than you because I don't want to get myself into a place where I run the risk of being disrespectful to you or or looking down on you because of 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 me having a more powerful position financially. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can be humble, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're talking like levels like here. like Beyonce where... and I'm Baba B. <laughs> no, no. And I said to my wife a couple of years ago, I was like, my nigga, find your own dreams. <laughs> like, nigga. you have so much power. Mm-hmm. You have so much potential. You have so much, you so much in you. Get your own dreams. Like, and oh. say like that. First yeah, of all, this did. didn't happen. Okay. How well do we really know each other? What is my favorite movie? I don't know that she's watched a whole movie without talking. Or sleeping. Or sleeping. <laughs> uh, name two of my grandparents' names. Your grandmother's name is Koko <laughs> and Mkulu. No, we can't. It was um, William. Uh, yes, <laughs> William. My mom's dad was Lesnook. <laughs> Bendado, put up. Wafi, girl, give me. 
<laughs> what is something that always cheers me up when I'm sad? Money. <laughs> wow. What women wish men knew? Men. Yeah. I wish you knew mm. that we are not crazy. <clears throat> and admittedly so, babe. Mm. You can't even deny it. Mm. Because you've said this to me. Before. That you're crazy. You've said to me that. <laughs> and the sentiment is that women can sometimes act crazy. Yeah. I, Do you I, know what I mean? I'm standing on that. I'm not, I'm not backtracking from that. We're I'm not, not crazy. I feel like sometimes. Elar Hafisa, man. It is our turn. Yeah. We get to have a conversation and we get to let the ladies know what men wish women knew. Ladies, guys just want to have fun. You think we want to have fun without you. Mm. You are wrong. When we do take you to go and have fun, you're not fun. My wife used to have this thing. She'd be mm. like on the phone. She'd be like, "Oh my god!" I used to try, like, I used to try to not be too happy. Mm. Like, don't be too happy on the phone, but don't be like too depressed. Don't just find a balance mm. because she'd be like, "Oh, so you're having fun with me? I want to have fun with you, but you're not fun." Do men feel like they marry their mothers? Yeah. Where did we have our first kiss? So, but, but this wasn't on our first date though. It wasn't. It wasn't. No. How? What if it was? Would you be ashamed? <laughs> I wouldn't be ashamed. So long. But... And then my wife proceeded to tell me <laughs> that um, she wanted to throw up. Wow. Uh, no. Like be okay with the no, fact but that... the kiss was nice. No. I was just like, ah. Damn. When did we get engaged? Peter. The year's already over. <laughs> this guy's not gonna propose. <laughs> About the Onyala name? Not really. <laughs> Maybe I'm leaving. <laughs> How we really met. Very challenging relationship. I was not looking for marriage my understanding was that if you were in the church and you were seeing someone then it means that you're gonna marry that person i had a girlfriend that's where the controversy comes in it's like an episode mm. of where mm. jola my girlfriend's like no that's kind of my boyfriend and know? i almost said but that's my husband, but that's my husband. the day he stood us up the day i stood her up yeah I'm I'm not willing to yeah. not spend the rest of my life with this woman. I was like, I'm gonna marry that one. No, no, I look papaya and I like. Sure. I don't give a pool. No, our love story, I, I truly believe that it was written, you know, by God mm. Himself. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm getting emotional. We're gonna play a game called Never Have I Ever. I promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Help me, Jesus. You live here. Ah! But there was the that five she's explaining. It was, it was the five second rule. I feel like today. I feel what like five second rule? The heat burnt the gems. Ah! I've never. Like, ah, it's life. fine. Just quickly, just. I feel like it's very important that thing. That thing. Yeah, man. Just every now and then, just. Just yeah. smash mm. <laughs> mm. You know? I so, no, babe, wait. Babe, Sometimes our prayers babe, won't get answered no, because your prayer that. partner. And Donna, oh, okay. And then you're like, sure, boy. Okay, and you're like, like ah. Sure. Wait, let's play the game. Okay, okay, okay. Then I'm like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Today, we are going to be sharing with you marriage myths or misconceptions. Yeah about marriage the grass yeah. is greener on the other side if people are happy and genuinely I doing well that. don't I be like that. oh yeah they you, probably you got it somebody yeah, snake snake park. Park. No, no, guys, like, da, allow da. people to flourish <laughs> and i remember i was using um Lerato's phone you know and then i child your data <laughs> yeah. you know and you were just like ah oh, babe it's like i'm done like, oh, nah. it's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> and I was just like, listen, 
Basadi Baba Rake Light Range Rover as push presents. As push presents. You know, I, I remember say, that. Did I say it to you? Yeah. Or did I say it in my head? You said it to me. <laughs> So basically yeah. what we did was we went on social media and we said, guys, yeah. what are your assumptions about us? And, and the I answers. felt like, wow, really? <laughs> is that the energy we're putting yeah, out there? Yeah, yeah, I don't think that Mr. Max is strict. Give I be fair like that man. Yeah, I'm strict. Yeah. I think you are strict about certain things. So he can be strict about certain things. You are very strict. I am strict. Yeah. I'm, I'm strict to myself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, this is Petola, strict, but you guys are very strict. Mm-hmm. Larato is very strict to the girls. We're strict about different things. Yeah. You're stricter. You're stricter to the girls. I, I'm more stricter to you. <laughs> yes. How do we keep the fire burning? You know, sex is a very important part of the equation, mm-hmm. but it's not the only one. What keeps the fire burning is not the same for both of us. So I sincerely and earnestly pray for my husband. Baby, able to over ten times handsome. Like Leo Beard, he had low. How you wearing that? I just find him like just really sexy, irresistible, muscly, extra smart, extra yummy. I pray for you more than oh, I pray, pray for, for myself. myself. I was like, that's rubbish. Like, like I don't think anyone would pray for anyone, you know, more than they pray for themselves. Do you pray for me? My wife doesn't think that I pray. For How me. often do you pray for me? So, guys, as we all know, that Christmas is coming, and Jesus is the reason for the season. That's why we celebrate Christmas. Absolutely, you know, Jesus really is at the center of this family and you know, if there's one thing we learned about um, why we celebrate Christmas is the gift of giving. After all, God gave us his only begotten son and that is why we celebrate Christmas because we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ.